Hello Mafia City family. Welcome to your own favorite YouTube channel Soul Gaming. This video is about Mafia City Yakuza crossover. In this video we'll know about Yakuza by Sega and some character's personality that is going to be our game's vigilante. Will this create shockwaves through Mafia Nation? Comment your ideas to improve Mafia City family and to support me and thanks everyone for your support. この町で喧嘩になるちゃんと相手を選べ大金持ち歩いてる時は特にな Those who are new to this channel and has not subscribed channel yet please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video you will get notification first. Don't forget to share video with your friends and clanmates. As it will keep motivating me to bring more informative video from time to time. We have seen two vigilante from Yakuza game already. Let's see the new vigilantes that are coming. New confirmed vigilante that is coming in this game is Akira Nishikiyama often known as Nishiki. Akira Nishikiyama grew up in Kazama's Sunflower Orphanage along with his sister Yuko Nishikiyama, Kazuma Kiryu, and Yumi Samura. At the age of 17, Akira Nishikiyama joined the Dojima family along with his best friend Kiryu. Nishiki started off to be very low and supportive towards his friends and family such as Kiryu and Kazama. Despite being forcibly the Dojima family to fight against Kiryu, Nishikiyama fought alongside his sworn brother Kiryu many times. He also firmly believes that people can succeed in the world through appearance rather than substance. Another confirmed vigilante is Ryuji Goda. He is the son of the 5th Omi Alliance leader. Jin Goda. His recognition for his militants and strength as a Yakuza, combined with the dragon tattoo on his back, has earned him the nickname, the Dragon of the Kansai making him a rival to the Dragon of Dojima, Kazuma Kiryu. Ryuji proves to be selfless as he doesn't hesitate to take bullets to protect his half-sister and Kiryu. Ryuji can be quite ruthless but, unlike many other Yakuza, he adheres to a strict personal moral code. Ryuji believes that strength is the ultimate virtue and that only those who demonstrate strength deserve to wild power. One more confirmed vigilante is Shintaro Kazama. Shintaro Kazama is the captain of the Dojima family and the patriarch of its subsidiary, the Kazama family, which later became a direct subsidiary of the Tojo clan. He is the proprietor of Sunflower Orphanage. Like other Yakuza, Kazama is brutal and violent, killing many of his opponents with efficiency. Nonetheless, he is remorseful of murdering innocent bystanders who find themselves in the wrong place. The only female vigilante from Yakuza series will be Koyuki. Koyuki is a very cheerful and hard-working girl. She comes from a poor family and has self-esteem issues, especially over her appearance. She has gone to all-girls schools throughout her life, so she has barely any experience dealing with men. The best Yakuza series game is Yakuza 0. While it's technically the fifth franchise entry to be released, the storyline of Yakuza 0 is designed to function as a prequel origin story. Let's look at those two vigilantes that were introduced in the game earlier. Goro Majima. His ferocity in battle and accomplishments as the captain of Futoshi Shimano's Shimano family earned him the nickname the Mad Dog of Shimano Forget Money. His belief is that hey Yakuza ain't worth dust without strength. You let that slip, someone else is gonna come gunning for your spot. 
Kazuma Kiryu is the most recurring protagonist of the Yakuza series. He is well known as Dragon of Dojima. Kiryu is the stoic and honor-bound dreamer of the dark Yakuza world, living by a strict code of honor and a very strong sense of justice. He is not the type to judge others and is generally accepting of anyone who is friendly towards him. He tends to be the listening ear to the world. <laughs>